Today's review is about hepatic lipidosis. 今日の復習は肝リピドシスについてです。Um, hepatic lipidosis is the most common disorder of the feline liver. Occurs in fat cats that stop eating. Um, an initial anorexia, the stop eating part. Initial anorexia may be secondary to a diet change or another stressor such as moving, boarding, the introduction of a baby, or a new pet to the household. Canlipidosis は猫の肝疾患の中で最もよく見られます。で肥満の猫が食べなくなったあの食欲不振という時に一番に考えるのが Canlipidosis です。In hepatic lipidosis, triglycerides accumulate in hepatocytes. Accumulates in hepatocyte. And that causes intrahepatic cholestasis and increased bilirubin levels. Which eventually, which will lead to jaundice. え、肝リピではトリグリセリドが肝細胞内に集まり、え、肝肝内の肝性胆汁物体の後ビリルビンの上昇が起こり、え、黄疸が最終的に見られます。So serum chemistry will often reveal a substantial increase in alkaline phosphatase. Significant increase, substantial increase in alkaline phosphatase. With a much less dramatic increase in alkaline amino transferase. Often a normal gamma glutamyl transferase. So normal Oops. gamma uh, glutamyl transferase. And this is important to remember because other liver diseases you will see increased GGT、um, and semi increased LP. But in hepatic lipidosis, you will see dramatic increase in LP and normal GGT. え管理ピでは、えっと、ALP の顕著な上昇 ALT の、えっと、マイルドな上昇そして多くの場合、えー、正常値 GGT は正常値が、えー、であることが多いです。Technically,、uh, cytology or histopathology of the liver is necessary to confirm a diagnosis of hepatic lipidosis、uh, and then observe Cytosolic vacuolation in the liver, which will confirm the hepatic lipidosis. But in real life, these cats have coagulopathies and compromised livers, so an anesthesia and a liver biopsy can be very risky. So, in practice, real life, the his history and physical findings and suggestive lab work. Strongly support the diagnosis of hepatic lipidosis. 
So history. Fat gap stop eating and physical finding. Again, kind of fat cat and with a history of stop eating. such as increased ALP, but normal GGT, and that will support the diagnosis of hepatic lipidosis. え、厳密に言えば細胞診で、え、脂肪的を含み肥大した肝細胞の確認や、え、組織病理学的検査で確定診断、管理費の確定診断をすることが推奨されているんですが、えっと肝臓が要するに参ってるために、あの、生検を